हेलो एंड वेलकम टू सी एम ए रोहन शर्मा यूट्यूब चैनल इन टू दिस वीडियो वील बी डिस्कसिंग द कैंपस प्लेसमेंट पॉलिसीज एंड गाइडलाइंस फॉर स्टूडेंट्स द प्लेसमेंट सेल ऑफ आर इंस्टीट्यूट इज कमिटेड टू प्रोवाइडिंग इक्वल जॉब ऑपरचुनिटीज टू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स हुव सक्सेसफुली कम्पलीटेड द प्री प्लेसमेंट ओरिएंटेशन प्रोग्राम To make the most of these opportunities, it's important for students to be prepared. So, when attending campus placement activities, make sure to carry a sufficient number of CVS, photographs, and attested Xerox copies of your testimonials and original certificates. Once a job offer has been accepted, if you decide to withdraw your acceptance, it's crucial that you inform the concerned company through the placement cell immediately. Moreover, if you are selected through a campus interview, you will be required to complete all the necessary formalities asked by the employer and join the organization within the stipulated time. It's also important that you keep the placement cell updated regarding your progress in the company. It's essential to note that each student is eligible for only one offer until a confirmed offer is accepted by the student duly offered by the company officially. However, acceptance of the offer will be based on a first come first serve basis. Also, a company is free to make their choice of students irrespective of their qualifications, caste, creed, sex, age, marks, and experience. During physical mode of campus placement, any student will be allowed to sit for a maximum of 4 campus interviews. After that, they shall not be allowed to appear for campus placement until the whole batch is placed or open campus is conducted. If you've accepted an offer, you're expected to join on the given joining date and always keep the placement team informed about your joining. If you're placed through the institute campus placement process and accept a private placement as well in another company, you must inform the placement cell about your stance on this immediately. Lastly, if you want to opt out from the placement support of the institute, you must submit in writing/email to the placement cell before the commencement of the placement process. In case anyone would like to withdraw from the institute's placement support after the commencement of the placement process, he or she may be allowed to do so provided he or she is not among students whose interview/selection process is under progress. Conclusion That's all for today's video on campus placement policies and guidelines for students. We hope that this information has been helpful to you. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos.